the sage. I am a style influencer and life coach. So I'll say I've always loved dressing up. Like even growing up, like I've always gravitated into things that look good. I love putting things together, not just with fashion, but even like with decorations. Like I love styling things and matching colors and textures and just making things look aesthetically appealing. I'm not more so of like a designer hoarder. I'm more so of creating through fashion. It's kind of like an expression. So mostly I pick the bottoms first and then I'll build off of that with like the top and then the jacket and then the accessories to kind of pull it all together. I actually am more of a silver person. I love silver jewelry because I feel like my undertones are cooler and so silver complements me more. But I'll do gold too because you know, we got the melanin and gold always looks good. So, but yeah, but silver, I, I gravitate more to. Olivia Pope, that's kind of like my style aesthetic. You're like a boss coming through with the long pants, blazers, or like big, you know, coat. Sex in the City, I love like a nice New York street style, glam, Merlin Monroe, long flowy um, gown silhouettes, things like that. I'm not more so like a it girl fashion, like crop tops, things like that. I like more like CEO chic, that's what I call it. Blazers, jackets, a little bit sexy, but not like revealing. I'll say CEO chick in color. I feel like a lot of times we are told to fit into molds. If, you're, if you wanna look a certain way, you have to wear these colors. If you wanna look professional, you're supposed to wear, you know, tan and nude and black, and gray. But I believe you could still look professional in a nice, monochromatic red look like look at michelle obama she comes through like a all, all red look red coat red boots and she looks fly and still professional and i feel like to me coming in bold is more commanding you command attention as soon as you walk in people are like who's that that has the audacity to come in here in all pink or all fuchsia that's why i go more bold is like the wow factor of it it shows people that hey i'm here i'm confident i'm not afraid to be me and i'm not afraid to show up Capricorn. <laughs> Say I do give Capricorn energy, but I have a lot of like fire sign in my chart as well, a lot of like Sagittarius, so I see a little bit of that influence too. As a Capricorn, I'll say that translates more into like my meticulousness. I'm like very like, I like lists and like doing things in order. I'll say the boldness and things like that more so come from like the fire background. Cause you know, we're all multifaceted and we have different signs in our charts. You can't just go by like your sun sign, you have to factor in your moon sign and your ascendant and things. Fashion has added fun to my life, giving me an outlet to be myself and to be creative. Fashion is where I go to to kind of stick solace from the drab of daily life. I'm not afraid to buy a new clothing item. That's kind of like my comfort. Other people buy other things, but to me, fashion is my kind of guilty pleasure. Fashion means a lot to me. It's my comforter. It's my outlet, it's my creative space decor i do it a little bit with like the housing decor like styling my house and also event design doing decorations for parties events birthdays proposals things like that my most favorite fashion trend right now is definitely monochromatic looks i love wearing you know the same color throughout my least favorite trend is like hopping onto other people's vibe i feel like a lot of times you have to just do what works for you and your personality and not more so just because somebody else famous is wearing something, that's what you have to wear. You have to know yourself and know what works for your body type, you know, your shape, your height ratio, and then what you're trying to portray. You have to learn yourself and then make your fashion translate through you and what you're trying to give. You don't want your fashion to wear you, you wanna wear it and come through. If we're talking designer brands, I like YS YSL, but like normal every day, I love Zara. Heels, I'm not a sneaker person. A few years ago, I kind of felt like I wasn't creative. Coming from a science background where 
kind of like in doctrine to think about just like facts and what you can see like right before your hot eyes you know creativity was kind of like you're wasting your time you know the art classes you call them school of coloring or whatever but i'm actually very creative i'm very creative and it took sitting with myself to tap into that realm like you're so creative like put this out there like what's the worst that could happen nobody watches it i'll watch my stuff i don't care you know but everybody is creative there's something within you that got put in you that's unique that the world can benefit from and you most likely know what it is that thing that's been gnawing at you to do for a long time, this is the time to do it. Like life is short. It doesn't matter if you don't have all the answers. No one ever starts out having out all the answers, having out the perfect brand pitch and logo and you know adverts and things. Just start with what you have. You have your phone, you know, if you're an artist, you have paper, you have a pencil, start, you know, drawing or whatever. If you have a, your phone, you could put it on a tripod, start recording, whatever you wanna do. You wanna do comedy skits. It really doesn't take much to create. I feel like sometimes we overthink the process and that keeps us from starting, but the number one thing and the most important thing is to just start. Start with what you have and keep going. Keep going. When you're on board with whatever you're doing, other people will start to be on board. And before you know it, it's gonna blow up and it's gonna multiply into something greater than you've ever Im imagined. Most times, you can't even fathom how high and how far you go because you can't see it yet. It's with you walking through the journey that you look back and see like, wow, I've actually come this far. But in that beginning moment, you're not gonna see how far you're gonna go. But you just have to trust that whatever it is, it's 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 for you, it's out there, it's for you to own. And you just have to start and believe in yourself. Say no to the naysayers, you got this. And love and light. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this time with me. I don't know if I made any sense, but I hope you feel <laughs> A little bit better watching this video you can find me on instagram at tammy the sage you can find me on youtube at tammy the sage i ain't got no many videos but it's coming it's coming love you guys bye